Hi, my name is Prashant. I live in Suva. I love Mirchi FM because Mirchi FM is hot. Mirchi FM, it's hot. Yana Vinaka and good morning, Fiji. In this bulletin, claims of prostitution and drug services at PRB flats. Property valuers see decline in business. And late stage cancer detection, a concern for WOW's kids. From the studios of FBC Suva, Jackie Smith. Claims of prostitution, drugs and violence have surfaced in public rental board flats. The illegal activities are becoming a persistent issue, which has been highlighted to Housing Minister Pramila Kumar following her recent visit to these flats. This has now prompted the ministry to take stringent steps to curb the growing social issues. The Ministry of Housing has been left shell-shocked, with claims made by concerned PRB tenants. The tenants are complaining uh, about uh, prostitution in PRB flats, drugs in PRB flats and uh, unnecessary fights among the tenants uh, in PRB flats. Children are not looked after, children are breaking cars, uh, they're breaking windows, they're breaking um, other uh, facilities. Uh, when PRB staff they go and put uh, lights, you know, in public area, they break that. So how do we deal with this situation? What we are actually doing is uh, try to to educate the tenants, uh, promote awareness programs, and uh, uh, our people's presence uh, in the estates uh, to be there, and uh, for tenants to take ownership of the properties that uh, they occupy. High-end properties are facing challenging times with people not risking investing in homes, which are currently valued at over a million dollars. This has resulted in local valuers seeing a decline in the demand for their services. Valuers Registration Board Chair Dr. Abdul Hassan says normally they would value around 100 properties in a month. However, they have seen a decline in this. Dr. Hassan says valuation plays a critical role in the real estate sector. Well, the valuation is done. Uh, through the real estate activities. So if there's no sales in any particular area, uh, which is the main basis for the valuers to, to determine the value of property, then it will be very, very, it will be difficult. Late detection of child cancer has been a continuous issue for Wales Kids VG. Over the past year, they've recorded 48 cases as compared to 30 in the previous year. Team leader Mary Williams says these are only the reported cases and the real problem are the undetected ones. Williams believes there could be more children with cancer who are not yet to be identified. Williams says treatment and care is always available. If everyone in Fiji, uh, parents especially the caregivers for children, eh, if they are fully aware of these early signs that we um, you know, um, consistently uh, promote, if they are aware of that and they bring the children early to the hospitals, then you know, the, the chances of their survival is uh, higher. With eight days remaining to Fiji's 50th independence anniversary, the capital city has slowly started to glow with colors of the noble banner blue. The biggest municipal council is partnered with other stakeholders to boost the spirit of Fijians and business houses. The national flags have been placed around the city, and the Suva City Council says there's still more to come. The Suva municipal market is expected to come alive as vendors will be competing for the best independence anniversary decoration. We approached the uh, Supermarket Vendors Association and they were quite keen to uh, partner us in uh, this uh, decoration. So next week they will have their um, own competition. We will have judges, a mystery judge, they will go out there and identify the ones we believe that uh, should uh, be uh, awarded the prize. The Agriculture Ministry expects a massive quantity of local agricultural products to be exported to key markets in the next few months. Permanent Secretary Ritesh Das says they've noted a huge demand from markets in Australia, New Zealand, the European Union and the U.S. market for the past few months amid the pandemic. He adds market increase has prompted the ministry to initiate various programs and assistance to farmers to ensure Fiji's agricultural produce is scaled up to meet the demand. We have interest from a large number of countries for Fijian product. 
the quantity that they want is humongous, is big. Uh, so for us, once again, it's all about scaling upwards so that you know, we can meet these demands. But uh, we've got the foot in the door. For us, it's about you know, uh, scaling upwards and being able to produce uh, the quantity that these customers actually require from us. Entry of Digicel into the Fiji market was one of the first signs of liberalisation in the Fijian economy. The telecommunications <laughs> company celebrated its 12th anniversary yesterday. Minister for Communications, Ayas Saipiyum, highlighted that competition is essential in any economy. You need to have the ability of businesses to do their ultimate best. Not essentially take a free ride because there's no other competition. Because what that, not only does it mean that the, they will become lazy as a business, they won't be efficient as a business, it also critically means, as, as a government we're concerned about that, that the consumers will actually lose out. Mango exports have not been affected by the current pandemic as the demand remains high. Mango is a seasonal fruit in Fiji and farmers have been supplying to exporters since July. Details with Philippe Naikaso. It may not be one of the main exports, but farmers have earned more than enough money this year to assist them during this hard time. The company that I supply my mangoes to have already come four times since last month. Now the leftover mangoes, I will be selling them to Suva. 51-year-old Nalulu says he has 30 mango trees. He says the three main varieties he exports include Fiji mango, Parrot mango and the peach mango. Majority of these trees were planted by my mother and now it is helping my family earn income. Ba farmer Mohammed Faryaz says he has supplied at least seven tons since last month to Dean's marketing. He says he has at least 100 mango trees which are solely for exports. As soon as they started uh, fruiting, then they come and spray, then they start picking. According to the Ministry of Agriculture, Fiji supplies most of its mangoes to New Zealand, followed by Australia, Canada and the U.S. Approximately 15 to 20 tons of mangoes are exported in a week. Fiji has five different varieties of mangoes, which are juicy mango, parrot mango, peach mango, Fiji mango and the hybrid ones. Philip and Icaso, FBC News. Up ahead, Lautoka gears up for IDC. Hi, Bula. I'm CLI from Nandi. I love Gold FM, only the classic hits. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Lautoka football defender Zebraz Sahib says the team's training session has intensified as a few days remain for the court's IDC tournament in Suva. The Blues have been training for the past three weeks following their league match. The side also won their last IDC title just two years ago when they beat Suva 1-0. Lautoka have had a few hiccups during their last few matches, but the players are still confident they can perform well. From BOG we've been down, but uh, preparation for IDC boys have uh, actually lifted up their performance during training. Hopefully it continues towards the game as well. The Fiji Football Association claims proper procedures were followed before drug tests were conducted on bar players Salawanga and Manasa Nawakula. Both players failed the drug test at the Battle of the Giants tournament in August. The pair are suspended for three years as they are repeat offenders. However, their lawyers are basing claims tests were done without the consent of the two players. If they, they are not. Can they prove it? See, in fact, uh, under water, I have done some uh, research. The only one that is registered is in Australia, otherwise no. It is registered, Fiji football has got their own anti-doping policy and everything, and the WADA policy and everything comes into effect next year when the government puts it with the Ministry of Youth and Sports, they are trying to bring it to the parliament and everything, but Fiji FA has got their own anti-doping policy. The Thai Level Naita Series senior football side aims for a solid start in the court centre district championship. Head coach Nigel Khan says the first match is always an important one as it sets the tone for the remainder of the competition. The side meets Raki Raki in their first pool match and Khan says the Ra base team is not an easy team to beat. Our aim is to take each game as they come. We are fortunate to play the opening game 
on Tuesday at 10.30 at the NZ Stadium, which is uh, an added bonus, opening game for the tournament. One of the youngest players in the Rewa women's football side is ready to take on the big guns at next week's Inter-District Championship. 14-year-old Tavaita Tikoisuva will be making her first IDC appearance on Tuesday and says she expects competition to be much tougher than league games. Playing alongside national rep Naomi Wanganindrola has helped Tavaita Tikoisuva become a better player. Tikoisuva says youths can venture into other sports like football and not stick to the traditional norm. Looking so far from the senior players that I got lots of attitudes from them and good skills from them. Defending skills and attacking and scoring goals. Quick look at the weather map for today. It is finally Friday, the 2nd of October, and some good news. A weakening trough of low pressure with cloud and showers affects the eastern parts of the group and is drifting eastwards away from the group. But don't celebrate so quickly because another trough of low pressure with associated cloud and rain is expected to approach from the west and affect the group from later today. Again, keep your umbrellas close. And that is your FBC Morning News. Join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. Remember, in times of crisis, you need factual news that you can trust. Stop believing fake news about the COVID-19 on social media. Fight misinformation by getting only the facts about the coronavirus from verified news sources like FBC's TV, radio and digital media news. FBCnews.com.fj, keeping Fijians connected with the truth. Nathan go marry right the lawa, go ngai tabua, and the tali taka na varong na Radio Fiji One nando mai viti. Radio Fiji One nando mai viti.